As the island winds blew and the fires grew, so did the darkness. There was nowhere to run, no one to protect us. Even our greatest leaders have fallen. Down below, there was once a deep presence of evil, a shadow, a victim to his own demise. This shadow craves fear, takes advantage of the weak, and it will stop at nothing until it consumes every last drop of life from your soul. You must keep in mind that this is no ordinary tale. For this is how it all began. In the land below. Anga? Anga? Ah. What? What's going on? Critter! Where are you going? into you? Is it those fruit fruits before bed again? Are you sleep chasing? Are you even listening to me? Who's there? That wasn't the first time I had that dream. I had been seeing that strange figure ever since my father vanished a few months prior. It was soon after that night my mother fell deathly ill, along with many others. As the days went on, recovery seemed impossible, and hope was fading fast. I overheard some officials mention Island's Edge as a source of this unwellness. I didn't know what that implied, but I felt as though my dreams had some answers. I wanted my father back more than ever, but all anyone knew of his whereabouts were a mystery.
But wherever my father was, I know those dreams had something to do with his disappearance. I had to go out and find him myself. Anya, is everything okay? To stop the darkness with my father's help. To save my family, my land, and my future. Now is when the weary become the brave. I don't know. This is what I saw in the dream. There was a light before. I know you chased it, and I'm very proud of you. But do you know how to get it back out? Who am I kidding? It was only a dream. It's just a lantern. Is it you that caused those dreams? I need to find my father. Can you help me find him? It was this moment on I had to just believe. That moment where there was no turning back. right? That thing. Is he with you? Yes, and he isn't a thing. He's my friend. His name is Critter. What is he? Some kind of rodent? <laughs> Whoa, easy now. I'm only pulling your tail. I know. You're hungry, little fella, aren't you? Here, have some of this. Something I cooked up just for tonight. Hey. Who are you anyway? And what's with that lantern? It's glowing awfully strange. 
The name's Anya, and if you must know, I'm looking for my father. I believe he's out here. Somewhere. Somewhere out here, huh? Well, I'll tell you this. It's only me out here. That's the way it's always been. What do you mean? The city, our land, it was all taken from us. Along with all of their life. Where do you think you're going? I need to find my father. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. It's dangerous out there, especially at night. Why do you care? I don't even know your name. Your stupid pet and your rusty lantern aren't going to help you find your father, especially in the shadows. Why would you want to help us? What do you possibly have to look for that you haven't already lost? Prilla, let's go. If you're going alone tonight, you're going to need a friend. So you must be the presence I felt reaching the portal gates. I knew you'd find your way down here eventually, young Anya. You are the darkness in my dreams. The destruction down here. The sickness in Eden skies. <laughs> you caused all this, didn't you? What do you want? Oh, you mean Danny didn't tell you? I... I know... Who cares what you want? What I want is that lantern of yours. I'm sure you're willing to part with it. Stop! Danny? Don't go breaking our agreement now that you've gotten this far. Leave her alone. I'm not gonna stand aside and watch this happen again. It's a shame to see you throw your life away. Maybe it's for the better. Now you'll meet the same fate as your father. Long last, the key to the portal gates. No, Father! I'm... I'm sorry. You should have learned from Danny. Pain and betrayal are the only mandate here. There's no light for humanity. did it. Well, 
I guess this is goodbye. I guess so. Listen, whatever he said to you, whatever I said to you, I'm sorry. A light doesn't shine brighter when another one's put out. I forgive you. I'm sorry for the things I said. I was just so scared. But now? I don't really know what happens now. Whatever your next steps are, I'm sure you'll succeed, just like you did today. When I walked through those gates into the unknown, I wasn't sure what I was going to encounter. I thought of failure and what would come of it. I wouldn't have known what I was capable of unless I took the first steps into the land alone.